it is time now to uh, do a higher fidelity analysis on our uh, blade design. So for this purpose, first we need to uh, do mesh generation. So I'm going to go to turbo grid, drop it down into blade design, which is going to connect our design into the turbo mesh functionality within workbench. And then let's double click and start turbo mesh. Uh, this is uh, a, a very easy to use uh, uh, hexahedral mesh generation tool uh, for turbo machinery purposes. So this is a very highly specialized tool. And as you can see, it automatically imported our geometry one about one sixth of the uh, of the section where we have our main blade and a secondary splitter blade, uh, and you know we can see the CAD model. So here, uh, this tool is uh, you know um, highly useful. What I'm going to, for example, do is uh, show the full design, maybe to get a better feel for our uh, centrifugal compressor. Okay, so with this, what we do is we just simply go unsuspend uh, the topology set. What this essentially means is uh, the design is complete and I'm telling the software to go ahead and mesh it. A lot of times uh, what I find with TurboGrid is uh, I don't need to change the settings. Uh, the, the settings are very well optimized uh, to create a uh, high quality hex mesh with wall uh, resolution and this is all automatically done for us so right now it is uh, going through the mesh generation process and pretty soon uh, we're going to have our 3d mesh This time we got a warning uh, about the outlet domain and uh, to avoid this uh, I'm going to employ a trick so this is you know sh shows the mesh with all the sectors let's go back to a single sector so that you know we can look at the mesh quicker we can check the mesh at different locations but the key is you know lo looking at the boundary layer region uh, and you know we can see that this is a pretty high quality mesh uh, a lot of times it will come up with an error and in such a case if the you know volume ratio in this instance is uh, you know out of uh, out of ideal bounds but it's only a very very small percentage of cells so chances are CFX will be forgiving and will be able to work with that mesh if not we'll have to come back to the uh, mesh generation uh, level again and then improve our mesh and then you know move on with the solution so here remember uh, we had the message uh, about the outlet uh, to fix that what we do is uh, click on topology set and here uh, we're going to split the mesh regions at the trailing edge so I'm going to hit apply and then uh, we're going to regenerate the mesh so here uh, the mesh is being regenerated and uh, what we're doing is we split the zone right at the trailing edge, uh, adding a third, third, third region to our meshing block. And a lot of times this trick is uh, going to resolve that problem and we're not going to get that uh, warning. mesh uh, with our uh, main blade splitter blade we can for example uh, 
you know, uh, check our mesh at different regions. We can turn on the hub, we can look at the hub mesh. We can look at the mesh on the shroud. As you notice, you know, that there's a lot of refinement at, at the top here. And the blade, that there's a gap between the shroud and the blade. So you can see the gap here. And, uh, you know, everything that we see with the measure is uh, that we've generated a successful mesh. And we can move on to the next step.